Hey guys, today I'm going to quickly show you how you can take a screenshot on a Mac. I'm going to show you three different ways of doing that. And let's start with uh, the most advanced one. Uh, we can, there's a app called Sketch. You can uh, download this. I'll be linking the download link in the description below. So once you have Sketch, uh, you may have to make a Sketch account, uh, sorry, an Evernote account. And uh, once you have that, uh, you can just um, use your account to log in. And uh, basically this is going to keep all your files in sync with your Evernote account. So just in case you lose the files, you will still have them online. So, okay. Once you have installed this and uh, the app is running, just click on the drop down here and uh, we're just going to say a full screen uh, screenshot. You can either go with a full screen screenshot or you can uh, you have the option of selecting a particular area of the screen. So a full screen would just be a full screen screenshot and then you have the options of uh, adding uh, text to it or if you want to annotate something with an arrow. See, I want to just uh, annotate the Apple logo over there. And uh, this is basically quite sim uh, similar to the app uh, sketch app you have on your iPhone or Android phones you have option of adding text you can add shapes uh, you can maybe highlight something that you want to highlight and uh, so on and if you want to blur out a particular part let's say I want to blur out the Apple logo so you can even do that okay yeah there you go and uh, you have the option of resizing or cropping the image. Uh, you can toggle that from here. You can either resize it or you can crop it. And uh, I feel it's always better to uh, take a full screen screenshot and then crop the part that you want to crop. Or you can just uh, go with the custom screenshot. You can select a particular area. Let's say I want to take a screenshot of that and uh, then you can adjust the width and height using the arrows and uh, once you are done with that you can basically or you can just drag and resize it and uh, say capture and it's going to capture the area and you have basically the same settings again and you can directly share this on uh, Twitter, Facebook or you can email it to someone and Evernote uh, Sketch is going to keep all your backups on Evernote so you will never lose anything. So this was the first method of doing it. This is the most advanced one. Uh, you get to customize a lot of things. Uh, and secondly, if you want to take a screenshot of say, okay, I won't quit this. Uh, let's mm, not quit this. Say I just want to take a screenshot of this app itself. I want a screenshot of only this window. There is a built-in feature in uh, on all the Macs. Uh, it's in your utilities. So let's just go to utilities. And uh, normally you would go to utilities from uh, your Finder. Okay, there's something funny happening over there. Okay. So Finder and go utilities. And there'll be a utility called uh, the grab tool. So let's open the grab tool. And you won't see any windows basically when you uh, select grab tool you have these options on the menu uh, go to capture and uh, say a window so i'm going to say window and it will say choose window so just click on choose window and i want to say capture this window that's it so i have a screenshot of just that window and then I can choose to save it. Uh, you can only save it, I guess you can only save it as a TIFF file. Uh, you can maybe Photoshop and convert it later, but TIFF is good. So this is the second method and this is effective when you want to take screenshot of a particular window. And I guess there are other options in grab tool as well. Selection option, I guess this you can just uh, drag over the portion of the screen you want to capture. So uh, basically, yeah, this is quite similar to Sketch, but then you don't have all the options of sharing and uh, editing that you get with Sketch. So I would recommend that uh, you 
uh, use sketch for doing all that and uh, in case you want to take screen uh, screenshots of a particular window you can use the grab tool so let's quit the grab tool and then quit sketch and the simplest and the, the the basically the most simplest way of taking a screenshot would be to just use the keyboard command command shift and three it will take a screenshot and save it somewhere on your desktop and that's it you can then use a program like photoshop to edit the uh, image and um, basically do whatever with that so these are the three simplest way of uh, taking screenshots on a mac i hope this video was helpful uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the button right there and do come back for more videos bye bye